Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and our expert today will be talking about security of Azure Synapse environment and let's get into the video. So let us discuss some important security related stuffs. Okay, security of Azure Synapse environment. I'm going to write down everything that you have to literally think about when you use Synapse Analytics. Even though your lab only discusses few aspects because they believe that you already know all those things from basics of Azure, maybe 104 or 305, 303. Right? They believe that you already know all that stuff. So they are just talking few aspects about it. Now, the first thing that you have to literally understand about Azure Synapse is first thing is for authentication and authorization, auth Z, authentication and authorization, you will always have two choices. What are those two choices? SQL authentication, right? You create users on you create users logins and users in SQL, right? So you go here. Let me just show you you go here you go to your pool then you go to security you have users Currently we don't have it. You can create a new user This is called as SQL authentication Okay this is called a SQL authentication. So you can do SQL authentication. Another option that you will have is Azure AD authentication. Azure AD authentication. Now you answer me which one will you prefer to use as a chief data engineer? If you are the chief data engineer, they believe that you will be taking the security considerations you will always use security considerations so they are asking that which authentication and authorization format will you use why the question is why if you know why then you will use those things otherwise you will not the reason is that you're going to be using these features what are those features mfa and hey, kerberos Azure AD does not use Kerberos. MFA. Kerberos will be used when you have dedicated connection to the domain control. In cloud, we do not have direct connection to the domain control. It's not like on-prem where the desktop or the laptop that we carry has a direct connection with the domain controller. So Kerberos and NTLM cannot be used at all. Right? So MFA, you're going to use these things multi factor authentication, conditional access policies, right? You're going to use things like identity protection and identity governance, right? You're going to use entitlement management. Now, if you don't understand these things, don't take headache. Entitle, entitleship management. Access reviews, privileged identity management. Let me write a shortcut PIM. So, the point to be noted is you will always use Azure AD based AuthN and AuthZ to use all of these things on the identity. Your security team will do this. But you, as a data engineer, has to be aware, have to be aware that what we will be using. For authn and auth that is azure ad authentication the process for this has to be understood first of all and you have to understand the process for it because some most of the people don't understand this process and then they remain confused that what what is happening why did you do this why did you do that see whenever you go to azure portal and author a synapse workspace right you go here and you author a synapse workspace see this you go here and you say I want to create a synapser. 
synapse create when you author a synapse over here okay and then you go to security section what are you doing here you are creating the sa admin which is using sql authentication you can understand this is a new workspace okay this can be a little tricky for people to understand right this is all it things it it's no longer data engineer it is it new workspace when you create a new workspace you create one guy this guy is a sa login system admin login which means it is a super administrator but he uses what which type of identity authentication authentication of z format what is the authen and the auth z format of this guy originally he is using sql authentication he is using sql authentication so here you observe he is using sql authentication all of this is sql authentication right so this is sql authentication right so when we create a new synapse environment a username is given to the administrator and a password is also given to this guy this login that is created admin login is the super administrator sa login system admin login he uses sql authentication but do we want to use it in production no so we do not use this in production this is just a starting point right this is a starting point that there is one guy who starts it starting point right so this is the starting point this guy is there who is the admin right he has some login sql dot sa dot admin name username and then some password right he has it we don't use this identity at all we use this identity only for break glass activity i'm now talking everything what you will do in production break glass activity break glass activity means, means what you might have seen those hollywood movies right everyone has died on the planet we are only four people who have survived and we are now again creating the human race like that idiotic hollywood movies that you have right last resort and whatnot so this guy is a break glass guy if no one can go in then we will use this but what we do is this in this workspace we have a feature on the workspace you have a feature called as create a azure ad admin for this workspace tell us a user tell us a user who is sitting in the azure ad this is azure ad this is azure ad tell us a user who is in azure ad who will become the admin of this workspace which means who is equal to this guy okay it can be only one only one person or only one person or a group only one user or a group security group right at least you know that right security groups in azure ad security groups in azure ad this guy when you tell them okay there is one user whom i want to make this thing this guy and this guy become same this guy will log in into the workspace studio and create new users using ad new users using ad so guys if you liked our video then do give us a thumbs up but if you really want to learn more about the particular topic we discussed 
then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Microsoft Azure Data Engineer certification, that is DP203, along with some question and answers, where we'll be discussing about why is everyone working on data, importance of some Azure services you should learn, and many more things. So for that, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure DE02. And after that, you'll be seeing a screen like this. Just click on book your free seat now. Select your event date whenever you're available. Reserve your spot by adding your name, your email address, and your phone number. And you'll be getting all the updates via mail. You'll be seeing this kind of window on extreme right. So you can save this link. Add to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep hustling and take care.